Hi there, and welcome to The Salted Pepper, where we cook for real life using real food and we keep it real simple. And today I am so excited to show you a cool technique that I came up with for making popcorn in the Ninja Foodie. And I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make kettle corn today, but you could also use the same technique to make that delicious, butter-coated, flavored, movie-style popcorn that you love at, right at home, and it's really easy. So, because I'm gonna make kettle corn, and in case you don't know what kettle corn is, kettle corn is usually like a sweet and salty type of popcorn that has a little bit of sugar in it as well as some salt, and of course popcorn and, and oil, and I'm gonna use some butter because butter makes everything better. And if you didn't wanna make the kettle style popcorn that I'm gonna make today. You could certainly just omit the sugar, follow the same exact recipe, and you're gonna have some delicious movie theater buttery popcorn in no time at all. The first thing I need to do though is get my butter and sugar compounded together. So if you were not using the sugar, if you just wanted to do plain old butter, just make sure your butter is cold and you can skip this step, okay? Just make sure you use cold butter. My butter is room temperature because I wanna compound it with the sugar. So I'm gonna just sort of smash this down a little bit here and add the sugar in. That's one tablespoon of sugar, four tablespoons of salted butter. And then I'm just gonna kind of mix it together so that the sugar blends in with the butter. You could also melt your butter and mix in the sugar. And I thought about doing that, but I kind of wanted to avoid that step because it will take longer for it to freeze in the freezer. It's not really that important, but it's probably a little bit easier to mix if you do it that way. So I'm making sugar butter. Have you ever heard of that? <laughs> And I don't know if you have tried to make kettle corn, or maybe you've been successful making kettle corn in the Ninja Foodie or in your Instant Pot. I have not. I have tried it probably about 10 times, and it never works out for me because I always burn the sugar. Because ordinarily when you make it like on the stove and everything, or even in a popcorn maker, you do put the sugar in with the oil and it all pops. But because I can't quite get the to shake the, the pot enough or get down in there to stir enough. Mine always was burning and it, that is horrible. You don't want that. So I came up with this technique and it works wonderfully. All right, so that looks good. Now I'm gonna pop this into the freezer and I'm gonna let it get cold, probably for about 30 minutes or so, 30 minutes to an hour. So I'm gonna pop that in and then we'll be back and make our popcorn. All right, so while our sugar butter is freezing in the freezer, we're gonna go ahead and make up our little foil packet. This is what you're gonna use to get that nice buttery flavor into your popcorn, and we're gonna introduce the sugar for the kettle corn without burning it. So this is the secret, guys, and you can use it a ton of different ways. It works beautifully. You could put seasoned butter in here to have it disperse equally throughout your popcorn as it's popping. This right here is Awesome, I love using it and it works great. All right, so take a sheet of foil. Let me back up, let me show you the measurements. Take a sheet of foil that is at least as big and you want it about maybe two inches on each side past the pot. That's gonna give us enough room to tuck it under, okay? All right, so now that we know that this is the right size, I'm gonna fold this up about three or four times. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this other side, about three or four times, until I have about two and a half to three inches there. Now, when, after we add our butter or sugar butter or seasoned butter, whatever you wanna use, to this, I will close it up, okay? So you wanna leave enough room that you can close it up. Otherwise, popcorn pops around it and starts getting collected in here and it gets overly oily. So you do wanna make sure that you can close it up. So if you think it's not gonna be easily closed, make it a little bit bigger, that's perfectly fine. All right, so now 
We're gonna add in the holes. And we're gonna do this before we heat up the Ninja Foodi because once we get that popcorn popping and we wanna add in our butter, having the holes already done just makes it a lot easier and a lot safer because the if the popcorn starts to pop out at you and you know it's hot oil, it could burn you. So this is the way that I like to do it. So I'm gonna lay this over the middle here and make it taut. Makes it easier to poke the holes. And then take any little sharp, thin object, but you don't want your holes too big. If your holes are too big, too much of the butter will go onto certain areas of the popcorn and it won't get equally dispersed. And then I just poke them. All right, that looks good. I don't count, it doesn't make that much of a difference. Just as long as they are equally dispersed along this area, you're gonna be fine. All right, well, as soon as our butter is ready, then we will get it spread in here. We'll get this folded up and we'll start making up our kettle corn. All right, so my butter was in the freezer for about 30 minutes or so, and it is, you know, firm to touch. It's not frozen solid, it doesn't need to be. Um, you just want it to be as solid as it would be if it was in the refrigerator. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this off the parchment paper and set that in the middle. Now, you can spread it out if you want, that's no problem, but you don't wanna overwork it because you don't want it to, um, you know, warm up too much or you're just gonna have it drip out too fast. So I think an easier way to do it is to just cut it up a little bit and spread it out along the line here, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do. Then we'll just let this sit over here for now. You can even put it back in the freezer if you wanted to, but I'm not gonna worry about that. All right, turn the Ninja Foodi on. We're gonna hit the sear saute, high is what we want. Hit the start button. You're gonna pour in three tablespoons of oil. You can use whatever oil you want. That's no problem at all. And we're gonna throw in just one popcorn kernel and put a lid on. You can use any lid that fits, so any glass lid that you might have, you can use that, or you can use a silicone cover like I'm using, or you could even use the pressure cooker lid on vent. However, it's a little bit cumbersome to get it you know, opened and, and to stir and things like that. So that would be the last resort. It also would be probably pretty hard to do this technique with the pressure lid, you would just need to like set the pressure lid on top. Don't try to actually um, put it on so it locks in place. All right, so now we just wait for that to heat up and then we're gonna add in one half of a cup of unpopped kernels and a half of a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna give it a stir and while the steam is coming up, it's gonna melt this sugar butter and disperse it throughout the popcorn. It works amazing. I cannot wait for you guys to give it a try. You're gonna love it. There we go. All right, so the one kernel popped. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. Put this in, put the salt in, give it a little stir real quick. And I'm just making sure I'm stirring the salt all the way around. All right, now we get our little thing here and I just close it up like that and tuck it under here and here just a little bit, you know, it's gonna be held into place. It's not gonna go anywhere. I do make sure that I have room to go under my silicone lid with that stir because we do stir a few times. Then just put this right on top and let the Ninja Fruity start popping the popcorn and it will happen pretty quickly. Once we get up to a very fast pop, I will decrease the heat to low medium to avoid any scorching. All right, I'm gonna just kind of go in here real carefully and give it a little stir. Let it keep going there. 
I can hear the butter dripping down. That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take that temperature down to medium low because it is really rapidly popping. And oh, and I'm gonna go ahead and stir again. All right. See all the little drips dripping down. Oh, this is so easy and so delicious. All right, when the popcorn slows that much, I usually go ahead and just turn the Ninja Foodie off. I do let it sit there in the pot for another minute or so and let the rest of the butter drip in there. This will give you about eight cups of kettle corn. All right, I think they are all done popping. Now let's take a look. We're still dripping some of our sugar butter. You want to get all of that into the popcorn. So we'll open up our little pouch and I usually wear these gloves to make sure that I don't get any steam burns. And there's a little bit left, so we're gonna go ahead and just get that over the rest of the way. And give it a nice stir. All right, I'm gonna let it sit in the pot just for probably about three minutes, just to cool down. And then I will put it into my bowl and we'll get to tasting our kettle corn. The pot is still really hot, so. I'm gonna use some gloves. I always like to see how many unpopped kernels. I didn't see that many go in. So that's one of the things that I really like about making popcorn in the Ninja Foodie is I don't have um, very many unpopped kernels at all. So this looks absolutely delicious. And let's, let's taste some. Mmm. Hint of sweet. Buttery. Personally, I could probably use a little more butter and a little more sugar, but that's me. If you like it a little bit sweeter, certainly increase that sugar to two tablespoons or a tablespoon and a half. That would be perfectly fine. Mmm, it's good though. It is really, really good. All right, so next time you want popcorn at home, fire up the Ninja Foodie, use my little trick for infusing the butter into it, and you're gonna have some wonderful popcorn in no time at all. Enjoy. <laughs>